Well, Heidi home, my peeps. I'm sitting out here in Stella's yard, and I've decided that today is going to be all about tidying up her domain. Uh, I've got weed abatement still to do there, but yesterday and the day before, I came out here with my weed eaters, and I did a pretty good job of knocking down most of the weeds that are in the center of the yard. Um, back over here by the little tool shed and barbecue, which we never use and probably should, I've got quite a bit of, uh, of grass still standing up. So my plan is to drink some more water and then get up at this chair and grab my rake and do some raking before I get back to the weed eating. I'm flipping this around. So uh, you guys, a lot of you saw my video from yesterday or day before yesterday about um, Grant's moving the big boulder um, out of the path of my she shed. I'm real excited about that. Um, I can't jump into getting the foundation uh, set for the she shed yet for two reasons. One, I still have a lot of stuff that has to go into the ground. I have sunflowers and then I need to start putting my um, my basil and some of my ornamental flowers in the ground or in pots now because they're getting big enough. I have quite a few left that are still teeny tiny and as they as they mature I'll find spots for them. But uh, for right now, the next few days it's going to be all about the tidying up, the planting, deadheading roses and that sort of thing. Um, then I suspect toward Friday I will probably have determined exactly where I want the she shed to be and um, I'll start putting in the, the foundation. I have a little area um, staked out with yellow tape, um, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to be the right location. I think I'm going to have to bring it down into the lower part, but I'll show you that a little bit. Well, that didn't last too long. That enthusiasm, I mean. Um, I managed to get a little pile of grass and pine cones and dog poo raked up, but my back started to hurt and I'm feeling dizzy. Gosh, darn it. But I'm not going to let that stop me. No, I'm not. Stella, Stella girl, I am not going to let dizziness and back pain stop me. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to take in a leave and I'm going to take a tramadol, and I'm gonna get my butt back out here and uh, man up and woman up. I'm not going to rake up the entire yard either. You can see I raked around that area and there's dirt patches showing and stuff. But yet when you look over here, there's a lot of uh, downed grass just lying there. That's actually optimal. That forms a little mulch and it keeps the dust down, it decomposes. It's actually a good thing to leave short grass like that down. However, there are areas in this yard that have chunks of foam or pine cones, that sort of thing, um, pieces of wood. And those areas I am going to, to go ahead and rake up. Okay, you can see that there's a 10 foot deep by 12 foot wide area that I've staked off right up there in the upper garden in the middle of the three terraced sections. Um, that's a nice spot, but I think it makes more sense to bring it forward so that it's right along the edge of this, uh, of this railroad tie um, retaining wall, in part because you see that I've got a hose bib there, 
if I just brought it forward instead of moving it side to side, if it just brought the whole thing forward, that would give me all of this area to put in the greenhouse that I want to attach to it. I want it to be sort of a little L shape with the bigger section, um, the she shed being the deeper section, and then the greenhouse coming off in this direction and going that way about maybe five feet or so. I just need a bunch of um, places I can put uh, trays. It doesn't have to be a big greenhouse. So then this area all in here would be um, terraced a little bit for a like a patio that I will construct out of flagstones and brick. I have tons of both of those things. And I thought I would also incorporate some of those round mosaic um, concrete pavers that I make, the, the real big ones. So that's kind of my plan at this point. This is where, this is where I will be staging um, some ma building materials. So I'm going to bring a bunch of stuff at home from, um, from the shop property. And I've got a bunch of those uh, pier blocks that I've been collecting for years that I will use for the foundation. There are other ways to make a foundation, but and maybe smarter ways, but the point is that I want to use up what I've got. So I'm going old school and I'm going to make my floating um, foundation out of, out of those. And I still need to harvest my lavender. I did just a little bit yesterday and realized that um, I was going to have to just dedicate a few hours to it. So. I will be back doing this a little bit later today. All right, I have made some progress today, but not a whole lot. Got all that weed eated, finished up the center of the lawn, got this area over here by Stella's water, and uh, I've been fighting. I'm gonna turn this around. Um, I have been fighting uh, back pain today. I took a tramadol, didn't take an leave, but I think I will take one of those here pretty quick. And I'm just moving slow and being careful about twisting and, you know, all of that. And um, some days you just struggle through, you know? You know what you want to do, you have a list, you knock a few things off, and you be grateful that you could do as much as you did. And that is, um, that's how I'm feeling today. So, I'm going to give my back a little rest, and then I'm going to get back at it. I spent a few more minutes and got everything, all the weeds, pulled away from the fence that was pretty easy because most of them were growing in leaf mulch that was breaking down so the roots came out pretty easy now i'm going to head over to the front gate and i am going to do the same thing well now that is looking right messy and let me see if i can't fix that Alrighty, that's looking better Still have to do some raking up and hitting it with a pressure washer. I need Grant to get in there down that line of weeds just the other side of the dog fence. That needs to be hit with a weed eater. I'm not going to sit around and wait for the cows to eat that. But that's doing good. I think I'm going to go up and say hi to Mike. Well, I decided to come up here, hang out with Tom and Mike for a while. Um, lots of weed eating left to do. But, you know, sometimes you have to take a break. Right, you guys? Take a break. Man. That's right. Mike's doing good. Mike gave us a scare a couple weeks ago, but he's... He's looking good, looking healthy, Enjoy eating the food. Enjoy the breeze. I'm not scaring anymore. You're not scaring me anymore. 
Tom has been, we've been talking lawn care, which That's I- Thomas Trump Kenyon? Yeah. People out there? Yeah. And I figured I'd better, <laughs> I'd better get a little bit of video because when Tom talks lawn care, he puts me to sleep. <laughs> that, that's how that's how Tom used to put me to sleep years ago. He'd start talking lawn care and I'd be out. Look, Mike's got a cat up on the top of his roof. Oh, mama's up there. That's a mama, one of the mama cats in the colony. She's probably the most tame of all of them. She doesn't want you to touch her, but she'll come around and hang out. And we have the, we have the fowl around, but the fowl has left. Rooster, oh no, I see the rooster. No, the right it's there. right up under there. I see its tail in that little hole in the tree. It's got its little hobbit hang out in the tree. I gotta tell you a story. Are you going to tell me a story? Is it one that um, our viewers would like to hear? If I, it's not, let's come up with another story that well, they no, can. No, it's not possible. You know, I, I, I don't I'll get, cut it out if you... Yeah, I don't, I don't get out very often, but anyhow, my phone, I went into T-Mobile to check it out. And uh, what I had accidentally done, I don't know how I did it, but somehow I had taken a picture of my keypad and that's where I had come up on my first photo. So I went to show the person at the T-Mobile. I said, I got this picture. And she said, just swipe to the right. And so I felt so stupid, but I swiped to the right. Then all of a sudden, there was a picture there. And I was wondering, what the hell is that? And then it turned out to be all the cats that were on top of my car. And I started to laugh. And the lady in there probably was saying to herself, this guy doesn't get out much. And if he does not, he's got that <laughs> phone. Got phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and so wow. I said, okay, well, I got that done. I figured it out. I go, okay, thank you very much. We're boomers. <laughs> you have yeah. to expect that from us. Yeah, we're baby boomers. We're still just stepping out there trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, we sure are. <laughs> so anyhow, I think I've come to the end of my... Um, my day and my video i will hit it again hard tomorrow everything's going to get raked up i'll have grant hook up the um the pressure washer and you know little by little i'm kicking its butt i think i'll leave you guys with a view of the neighbor's cows the cows i love the cows i noticed there's a little spot behind the house there throughout the rocks and shit it looks like it needs to be fixed yeah there's the cow she's beautiful and then another one i noticed those cows are all right you guys everybody have a great day or evening whenever you're seeing this and i will talk to you later